Hi everybody, it's Leo CJ Drill, and today's video, well, I'm heading to my local home improvement store. I'm going to pick out some mums to, you know, give the front yard a little pop because the summer flowers are starting to wane. And I'm going to show you what to look for when you pick out, well, a mum. Coming up next. You want to find plants that have dark green foliage. You want the plant to be full and symmetrical, and you want no signs of wilting leaves or yellowing leaves. Don't be afraid to be creative with your container. You know, you can use just about anything. You can use an old boot, a paint bucket, a bucket, a wheelbarrow? Well, I'll tell you what. My friend Chris over at Pine Top Jackson, he's a YouTuber here in Seattle, and his YouTube channel is about guitars. Well, he decided to use an old guitar as a planner. I'm going to link to his video on how he created a planner out of a guitar so you can check it out for yourself. Now, these containers aren't originally for planning, so I have to make certain that I drill drainage holes. So I'm just going to drill a series of a few, just enough so that the soil can drain. This is called a step bit. You can use a step bit, but you can use a regular bit as well. Now the one thing about a step bit is it gives you varying degrees of diameter. It's like having many drill bits in one. Now our pumpkin here is made of, um, it feels like a combination of plastic and foam. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place one big hole right in the center of the pumpkin with our step bit. And I feel like that hole is large enough that's going to create good drainage. Now I'm going to take my pumpkin here and I'm going to cut a hole just like I would cut a normal pumpkin and I'm going to take the lid off and that's going to allow me to plant our mums inside. So I'm using a keyhole saw. Okay, so my pumpkin top is cut off. I've got hot glue here. I'm going to attach my lid to give it a nice presentation. And I'm going to be very generous with the hot glue because it is going to be outside. Maybe you're wondering, are mums perennials or are they annuals? Well, believe it or not, they're perennials, but they're considered tender perennials. Mums love colder weather. If it's a little chilly, believe it or not, the colors intensify with mums. So don't be worried that, you know, it's autumn and it's a little brisk. Soil should be moist, okay, but you don't want the soil wet, so keep that in mind because mums need good drainage. This is Leah saying that you can do this. See you next time.